And now the weather gets even more active in the coming days with an increasing chance that our rivers may reach flood stage by next week. We had the first front move across yesterday. Now today we have another system that will give us even heavier rain and rain showers along with some gusty winds and a chance of thunderstorms that persist through tonight. Another atmospheric river event sets up for Saturday, bringing us periods of heavy rain Saturday night into Sunday. As if this wasn't enough, it looks like we'll have another atmospheric river event setting up around Tuesday into Wednesday. The issue is the models are not settled on exactly where the greatest rainfall will be. Some of the long-range models even hint that another system could bring another rain event next week, Wednesday night into Thursday. Again, not all the models agree, so this is just something to watch for now. Now let's talk flood potential. The Friday, Saturday, Sunday rainfall totals could be upwards of 3 to 5 inches along the coast, maybe even higher in the coast range, up to maybe 4.5 to 6.5. And we could even see 3 to 4 inches of rain over in the valley. As if this wasn't enough, the start of next week we could see another atmospheric river developing that could push some of the flashy rivers up to or maybe even over flood stage. The National Weather Service suggests there's a 10 to 25 percent chance that some of the rivers could actually reach major flood stage, including rivers from Lincoln County northward into Washington. The issue is, for now anyway, the models are mixed on who will get the maximum rainfall during this period. The rivers will be already elevated, so obviously this will be something to watch. The only other thing that could give us some problems are the winds. The winds today will be gusting to around 30 with winds at the beaches 40 to 50, and these winds are possible again over the weekend. Bottom line, watch all the forecasts for the next week. This is meteorologist Gordon McCraw for Coast Community Radio.